Greetings. Welcome. Look what we have here. So this is my uh, first attempt at uh, repairing, more like a restoration of a, uh, you know, chainsaw, home light. And uh, this thing is fascinating to me. It's new to me. No idea how they work. Can't be that complicated from what I've done before, but uh, let's take a look at what we have, right? This label's a little off. It's like Super XL Automatic Oiler. Mm, I don't know if those, those are good or not. I don't really have a reference point. It looks like oil goes in here. This is oil right there. Got a fuel mixture. Is that what that is? Yeah, maybe. Fuel, yep, fuel and oil. It's a fuel and oil mix. So we know we're dealing with a two stroke. A little muffler here. <coughs> so there's a lot more light for you. So that's a muffler. Here's our spark plug. Um, is that fuel lines? What is that? That's cobweb. Alright. Nice. I see things that look like fuel lines, but I'm not really sure. No, that's metal. Um, hmm. Okay. And it locks the trigger. No? Trigger lock? Yeah, totally. That's okay. Um, I'm betting that's a choke. Yeah. Alright, there's a choke. Uh... This thing's pretty dirty. I don't know what's going on in there. Uh, what do we have over here? Let's see. What is that? I see a grommet here. And a grommet on that side. Right there. And... Um, How well do you think it pulls? Pulls. This feels awkward trying to do that one handed way. Anyway. Caution! Caution, what does this say? When removing the fuel cap at any time, loosen half turns and wait approximately 30 seconds. Relieve pressure. Okay, good. So don't just don't just open it. Um, looks like we have ourselves a on and off switch here. Okay, it's off. It's on. We'll start. We saw Home Light Super XL automatic. So I don't know what to expect from this thing. I just know that it was said to me that it doesn't run. And uh, I don't know what that means. We're going to try to fix it. Hmm. Alright, let's have. So recently I got this like inline spark plug tester. I just think it's a better way to go about testing for spark if you can use it. Uh, one of the problems with testing for spark, we're just pulling a spark plug out is that it's kind of inconclusive because spark changes inside of a compressed environment where the air pressure is higher. You know? So it's also much easier than trying to like fandangle it. Um, well, let's see, what do you think? Let's uh, see what we got. We have spark. You know what? Put it in on. Yeah, don't forget. Alright, now it's in on. Yeah, there's a lot of spark. You saw that, right? Here's a question, right? Uh, 
What does it mean? Uh, how do you know? So I don't need to pull a lot and I get sparks, but that's good, you know? I'm like, I can't get on it crazily or anything like that. Okay, I feel like the engine has a lot of compression also, because I'm struggling with it. But anyway, that worked well. That's a very cool um, tool. I'm going to have some issues with this pull start. Good. See how it's going on with that. Okay, so that's good. We got spark. Compression feels great so far. We could do a compression test. I don't know, what do you think? Let's try it. So this spark plug is a uh, three fourths. So one of the things about something like this, this thing is very old. It might be from the seventies or early eighties, but uh, because it's so old and it's been in service, you know, part of the, you're going to end up having to like rebuild the engine on these things to get them right. So. I'm already forecasting that as a possible thing. All right, so that is, that's that spark plug. This is a Champion RCJ6Y, RCJ6Y. So I'll, I'll have to look that up at some point just to make sure that, uh, Gonna look it up and make sure that it actually um, makes sense. As this is the right sort plug, and check the the gap. Okay, now we need to get a uh, an adapter that fits in there. Just gonna do a compression test. That feels funny. All right. I don't like the way it fits. Let me see. I'm just too awkward. No, this thing just doesn't fit. Storage here. No. So not that one. Does that make sense? Oh, it looks way too big. Maybe this just works by itself like that? <laughs> yep, that sure did. Okay. No adapters needed. Okay. Send in a new guy. balloon off of there. I'll keep the balloon on there for when I do the compression test on cars. Just try to see if I can get the top dead center. Make sure that it's pushing air up. Okay, so I'm gonna, you can see that dial there. It's not too much reflection. It's zero. Stay. I thought you can see it, but let's give it a shot. Okay, so it looks like 120. Better than my better than my Honda Civic. Wow. Okay, so we are at one 
sorry. You can see that. 120. A little bit past 120, more like. So 120, 100. Hmm. <laughs> uh, that looks like right about 120, yeah. Okay, so 121. No, 122. Okay, whatever, you get the point. Okay, so it's got a lot of compression on the engine. Uh, it's holding also. And uh, so we have a lot of compression. We've got ourselves good spark. Um, all right, let's move on. I was thinking we can, since it's out, we can just check to see if the spark plug actually works. Yeah. Wow, that's ridiculous. Yeah, that's spark plugs. Did you see that? It's a good spark plug. All right, so well, I don't really know what the fuel oil mixture is going to be, but I'm going to do a 40 to 1 just to test it. I'm not running it for any lengthy period of time, so. Just drop a little bit of fuel in here. Everything goes right. I'm hoping I uh, hope we'll get a little bit of a little running action. So I got it in the on. Pipe back out a little. Let's see what happens. All right, we've got ourselves a. Functional chainsaw. Cool. Think it'll run again? So. Yeah, I think it's burnt all that off. Okay, that's good. So we know it wants to run. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of at a loss where to start. Uh huh. Let's check and see what fuel it has in it. No fuel in there. The tank's not rusty, so that's nice. This air filter off. I'm just gonna dive into a little bit more. Yeah, okay. It's pretty cool. That 
is a cobweb. Amazing. Spiders got in here. Okay. That's an air filter. I just want to check and see, make sure there's nothing special about its orientation other than it matches that, like this. Okay, so you can't mess it up. All right, and uh, that's a cool little carburetor. Okay, there's a choke. See that? Probably can't. So here's our choke. I'm pulling that, that opens and closes the butterfly. This carburetor is neat. Uh, it's 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 made in America. Wow. Till it's the company's Till Tillotson. Hold zero? Is that our O? I don't know. Hmm. Some of you may be more familiar with it, but uh, I'm not. Okay. So we're, oh, I see. Okay, so we have our throttle here. Look at this screw here. Would, uh, it's hard to see once I give you some light. Dark side of the moon. That screw there controls the idle, right there, and so it's the uh, pulling the trigger. Red. Screw there is the uh, idle. And this choke here is a close the butterfly. So push forwards, open it, pull back, closes it. Okay. Um, I'm gonna bet. Oh, oh look, I gotcha. This is a fuel line right here. Ooh. That's a special one. Okay. It's, I mean, it's, it's not cracking. Okay. Fair enough. What's that? So let's say to get this carburetor out, we're going to have to disconnect some linkage here. Linkage here, and I'm not sure what's happening down here. Hmm. Okay. Oh yeah, this is the uh, carburetor, so you can see it. To Watson. Uh, Toll zero something zero USA. I think that's what it says. Either way, that's what we got. I want to do a little fishing to see if uh, what this fuel line is attached to. Get an idea. handle off now since get in the way. I want to get this out of the way too. Yeah, that's, that's better.
Okay, so that's our fuel filter. I have not seen black fuel line ever. This is a first for me. Okay, so it's attached, it's supple. See, at this point, right, I don't want to. I think I want to just kind of uh, put this back together and put some fuel in there and see exactly what we're working with because I don't know, you know? What do you think? Yeah, I think we should do that before we move on just to give us a reference point. You know, I don't know how bad this carburetor is. We've got great spark. We have great... Um, what I was saying before I interrupted myself was um, I don't really know what we're working with. I don't have a baseline, you know, of like what what does bad mean or is it not running at all? So I think it would be best for us to actually um, try to work on this, take it and test it, run it, see if it actually can get it on, but let's put some fuel in it. I don't know the uh, <coughs> fuel mixture. It's not written anywhere on this, so I'll have to figure out what that's going to be. And then um, let me get an idea, a feel for like what exactly is, uh, what exactly does it mean, you know? In the meantime, what I'll do, I'll wash this and clean this off with some soap and water. So uh, by the time, just get it clean, dried out, okay? And we'll give it a test and then we'll come back and then we, if we know for sure it can run, we do know that. Uh, we'll have to do probably rebuild this carburetor. Let's see what uh, see what we can do. All right. So yeah, then it's a, that the thing that's a good approach. Yeah. I mixed up some thirty-two to one fuel. That's what this takes. And uh, let's just go ahead and. Uh, Give it what it deserves, right? Shall we? Yeah. Get a nice rag here. Just want to clean off the area around these things. I, mean, I also got some barn and chain oil. So I'm going to clean this area off here. I don't want anything to fall inside of this lubing mechanism. for today. Just need to test it. Yeah. This we're gonna need some oil in here. too too much because I'm just going to like I said I just want to test it all right so if everything goes well we should have a, a baseline um, what do you think I think it'll start See, right?
Alright, you can see that thing's not going to start. It's got spark, it's got compression, it's in the on position. We know it can run, but uh, uh, we got a whole lot of something to figure out. So as you can see, the pull starts a little funky. There's feel in there, well, nothing seemed to uh, make a difference. So let's just double check and make sure we have spark. Um, yeah. Spark plug is uh, three fourths. That's three fourths of an inch. That's still in the on position like it was outside. Just want to double check and see if we have spark. Yeah, we have a lot of spark. So we have a fuel delivery issue. That's what I'm just figuring out here. Uh huh. So I can tell you now, you know, they rebuild a carburetor. Um, I don't know. Maybe we can pull it apart and just clean it real quick and see what, see what we... So the uh, ultrasonic cleaner warmed up. Warming up, actually. And I think this carburetor maybe slides this way. I'm unsure. I have these two bolts and I have these two screws on the side. I think this makes the most sense. So this is a 5 16 Loosens up the carburetor at all. I think it might be a long, very long kind of stud that goes all the way through the carb into this black back part here. I'm using a quarter inch of the little wobbly uh, extension just to help get on that angle because it's a little weird. Hard to get at. So they definitely don't want you to take this carb out of here at all. Doesn't feel like it anyway. Hoping that screw will <laughs> come out. And yeah, no, it bumps up all the way to there. Okay. Um, maybe you just loosen it and then, because it's obviously no longer attached to that. This is five sixteenths. Yeah, that's definitely loosening up. Okay, so. Okay, so that's loose. Okay. I am. Um, okay, so that's loose. I. Uh, 
A linkage connects here. A few line here and another linkage over here. Hmm. This one kind of like has a cotter pin attached to it. Yeah, can you see? Let's see the little pin there. Screw these here on the side. <clears throat> so I'm going to pull this out. So it's a cotter pin. Slide that out. Got the choke. That's a choke, by the way. So that's that's out. Um, the linkage over here. But this side's interesting because I think those screws actually do. I'm going to push this fuel line out. Okay, fuel line's off. I think I gotta unscrew those two screws there. So there's two screws right here. Oh, they look like, oh, I see, they look like they are high and low fuel. Yeah, I think these two control the high and low fuel delivery. Okay. So, let's see. Let's just back this off a little bit, too, just so I can uh, get some more room. Sorry, can you see that? Yeah. This is for the uh, uh, idle. Okay. So I'm just clearing up some room so I can. Uh... Yeah, you can see a little better. So I got all the, those two screws backed off. This was uh, here. I didn't screw that. And then now what I have here is the throttle. Everything's kind of loose. Okay, <laughs> that was awkward. that went into there. Idler was on top of that. Okay. Hmm. So 
what I think I'll do today is just kind of like see if we can get this thing started to see what a baseline looks like, you know, like the cheap, no investment, so we have a carburetor back here. It was like that. It's got two holes for that. Okay. That's good. Hmm. Oh, the varnish. Yeah, I see. I bet you this thing is clogged. Okay. Well, this is good to know. Okay, so I'll wash this by hand. So it's going on inside of there. This is keyed. So there's a hole right here, a knob. It looks like it's like, oh yeah, it's keyed. So you can't really mess it up when you put it back in like that. So that right there should push against this top side here. So we have a gasket. Does that go upside down? Think I can go in? Yeah, no, I cannot. All right, great. So we have a gasket here. I'm gonna clean all this out. And uh, we had to test this carburetor and see what's going on. I want to check it for pressure, see we need a pressure test on it. So we have this all set up. This is in pressure mode. Have it attached to that part of the carburetor. Let's see if it holds well. It does a good job. Yeah, the needle is holding. Let's go to 10 PSI. So that holds. We know we have a good carb. I just think probably it was just clogged. Hmm. All right, that's a good thing. This carburetor has more information now. I can see once I took it out. Um, this looks like 04 to me. So it's a it's a Tillotson, Toledo, Toledo, Ohio, I assume, USA, Toledo, Ohio. Yes, of course. Sound like a foreigner, which I am. Uh, let's see. Toledo, Ohio. Um, Tillotson Manufacturing Company. Road 1963 USA. So you can't see that. And right here it has there it says uh, HS HS9 weird print it's like the person printing this kind of messed up it's HS96A okay they had to double up because they made a mistake the other person lost their job that day uh See, it's got some nice demarcation here. It tells you high it was on this side, low was on that side. So those two screws that were in there, that's what they're for, high and low adjustment. I think we should pull this apart and clean it and then try to put it back in and start and see what happens with, uh, with, what it's, what's, with what's in there right now, just to see if we can get it. Let's just look at the way this operates first before we pull it apart. So we have this so Venturi side here. Just that spring opens and closes it. 
it's really cool. These um, these carburetors um, just they feel much better, much more well assembled than the uh, the Zamas and. Uh, Wall bros. Okay, so that's a choke. Just, just little to no plastic. I actually don't see any plastic on this thing. That's just amazing. Let's, uh, let's dive in a little. This is a three sixteenths flathead. That's that. We have four of those. See it already, that looks like that's keyed right here. See those knobs. So that was like that. Let's see if uh, pointy part. Right there. Does that do in that switch? No, it can't. So it's keyed, so you can't mess it up. But you see how varnishy that is? That yellow stuff. Can you see that? Might have wiped it off. It's too reflective. It's a dead giveaway right there. We're gonna have some issues with it being clogged. Diaphragm's pretty, pretty hard. Don't want to, don't want to scratch this. Okay. I don't want to break it because I want to, want to put it back and test it. too hard. Yeah, it's beginning to separate. Okay, gotta be careful here. Alright, I need to get uh, something else to uh, get onto there. Uh, plastic. Yes, I got a plastic razor. So I'm gonna get under this gasket, try to, just so I can use it again. Uh, 
there's some left there. Oh, this thing's pretty shot too. Well, anyway, I'm going to try to reuse that. It's going to leak right away. So anyway, this was like that. It's keyed. Just can't mess it up. Triangle facing that way. And, uh... check before we move on. This is actually leveled. I can, I can see it. So. Now be careful with this because that's spring. Man, if you lose that spring, all I can tell you is that I lost it before. And I had the world's most expensive spring to buy. has the same typical setup as your uh, seat the pin through it the spring right here in the middle of that and then here's our needle you want to look for, look at the tip of the, of the needle Make sure that's really sharp. It looks a little dull. I mean, not so sharp, then you're gonna have an issue with uh, it sealing and controlling that fuel and air mixture properly. Okay, so. That's that side. Let's pull this side off. That's that. We have uh, four of these. So this follows the same contour as the bottom here, so I'm not really too worried about how that puts back together. These I want to be careful with because like I said I want to reuse them. This is trying not to damage them. And I'm reusing them just for testing purposes, not, not 
for a good rebuild. Some silicon spray. Just to soften it up a little. <laughs> the truth is, I may not be able to say this. Even if I put this back on, it's just not going to work. All right, so you know what we're going to do? Um, I think we're just going to go ahead and uh, get the car rebuild kit, right? Because I can't, I can't save this. This thing is like caked on there. So we'll clean this off. Get a car rebuild kit. Get some other gaskets. And this thing needs. We know that, uh, yeah, that, that thing is, <laughs> it's shot at, at best. It's a nice way to describe it. Uh-huh, yep. really salvageable. This carb, the butterfly, I'm going to leave those intact. I need to close that. I will open this all the way so that way ultrasonic cleaner can, whatever vibrations are needed, can actually not be impeded by that um, butterfly. And I'm tempted to take this off, but I don't know if I need to do that. Probably should because fuel does go in here. It's a screw off. What do you think? Just don't want to break it. It's 
how they twist them. So could have just been pressure fitted actually onto there. Well, either way, this thing needs to be cleaned because fuel comes into that through here. So that's cleaned. I'll push that back in. Yeah, I think uh, this is good. Maybe I'll try to put it together there. Now. I don't know, we'll see. Test it without the. Uh, things set the way they are. Yeah, let's do it. While we wait for the ultrasonic cleaner to uh, clean, let's go and clean this area up some. So we know we need a gasket for this side here. This is just WD-40. I think I'm going to try to swipe it out first. Be a good job for some compressed air. Use the compressor right now because I don't want to contaminate things too much. Just want to get it clean enough that we can test it. Okay. So now I can do some WD 40 on this. This saw is an interesting little name. It's called uh, Old Blue. It was like fascinating to me. They had like a red version of this. I think the red one was uh, called Big Red. It came out uh, some years after Big Blue came in, came on the scene. So we have a gasket here. We're going to need that. And since this, we need to know this thing's like rigid, pretty rigid. And then uh, I think we should take that. Uh, Get this uh, muffler off. This is a 516th socket.
that's those two. Oh my god, it's a lot of carbon. Okay. Well, this thing might have been... Just want to get that off of there. Uh, what are you thinking? I'm not pushing anything. So I'm gonna feel for it. The short block is right here, so. Um, Screw somewhere. I doubt it. Feels pretty tight though. Is there something on behind this? Possibly. Let's pull that out. And see if I'm fighting a little too much here. Oops, sorry. So that's that. Use a nice little cleaner also. Uh -huh. Maybe this screws into there. And then I got a socket on this. And then that will free free the exhaust. Do you get to see the, uh, we get to see the, uh, piston. Huh, that's neat. Uh-huh. i give you a better shot. All right, let's see if we can see the piston move. It's a little tricky. Also dark in there, sir. You know what? Take the spark plug off. <laughs> that way you can uh, be able to control. control the, um, get the compression off of it, you know, so I can. Uh, See it move. Okay. Let's take a look. I can see the rings. It definitely looks like uh, it has some burning uh, that's happened. I don't know. But let's try to get this off and clean that too while we're at it. Let's try to get that muffler off. I think it's, uh, those are the long studs. This one seems like it's just coming right out. This is, uh, 1130 seconds, so. Feels about right. Oh, there you go. My foot's already falling off. It look like this. Pretty carbony up too, so. I have two of them. I 
Oh, that should be it. Yeah, there's one more. Oh, right here. Couldn't even see it. So much carbon. Okay, let's see a screwdriver for that one. A better screwdriver for that one. That is that screw. It's, a, it's kind of a mushroom head. That was right there. So these, all three of these, very carboned up. Now this gives me a much better picture. I wonder now, right, if, uh, if there's a gasket that's supposed to be here. You know. Not really sure, but anyway, let's we'll just take a look at the. Uh, you can see, you can see it. The piston slid a lot better now. You can see it. Let's, I want to try to stop it in that gap so we can see. Look at the rings. Rings are good there from what I'm seeing. Like I said. I think it's had better days. Okay, so what do we have here? We have a lot of oil. Typical. A whole lot of oil. All here. So, there's no way around this. Uh, we're going to have to pull this short block off and clean it. Eventually. But for now, right? So I just want to try to get this to run in the short term. See, it's important for your exhaust to be clean because it chokes the, uh, this is your exhale of your engine. Just like you when you breathe in and out. And now you have breathing in is your intake. And your exhaust, exhaling would be your exhaust. So these things are very much like the way humans behave. There's no wonder that they're uh, engineered that way. We kind of model a lot of things off of ourselves, even though we are unaware of it. Um, but uh, the thing is to be able to think outside of your own evolution, you know, and engineer things that way. That would be a game changer always. So anyway, uh, what we have here is a... Uh, Is a, is a very uh, dirty area here. Now I just have the the, um, the piston blocking out that space there so I can attempt to clean this without dropping stuff inside of the uh, cylinder. You know, uh, am I successful? Not really. Okay, but. I think there probably was a gasket on this, but it kind of burnt away. I don't know. Either way. Leave it, leave it alone. That's good enough for now. Okay, these are all the things we're going to put into the uh, ultrasonic cleaner. Have these screws here. Make sure they're not pulling anything else with them. That, this, the, the needle, yeah, let's see if we can wash that. Give those a little bit of a bath too. I can leave those. This, absolutely. Okay, carburetor, and that. So let's put all those in there and leave that alone. Oh, wait, <laughs> don't forget this. And this, 
yeah, then it's alrighty. So we got some parts we're gonna put in there. Uh, not put this in here. Got a lot of stuff to clean. Came out pretty well, I think. Yeah. Just give this a good clean up. Alright, I think I'm going to put some of this stuff back in to clean again. I think like this, this is just unbelievably dirty. So, uh, yeah, let's put one, two, three, four. The, the, the exhaust side is ridiculously... Yeah. 